A four-year-old boy was found safe after spending nearly 24 hours alone in the California wilderness. Christian Ramirez wandered away from his family's campsite in the Sierra National Forest. A search and rescue team of officers and volunteers found him near Huntington Lake, about a quarter mile from where he disappeared. He was nestled under a tree. Joining me now is Lieutenant Kathy Curtis with the Fresno uh, Sheriff's Office. She's a search and rescue commander. Thanks so much for joining us. What a remarkable story, a good ending to this story, right? You know, first of all, I think a lot of people are wondering how Christian is doing. I know he's been reunited with his family. What can you tell us? Good morning. Yeah, you know, uh, we were so happy to have found Christian and get him reunited with his family. And from the moment that he was, uh, found and reunited with them. The whole family himself has been just ecstatic. He's happy, he's healthy, they're doing very well. I think I saw online too, you know, he was hungry, he got a sandwich and then got to see mom and dad. Uh, a good ending, you know, typically, you know, these stories don't end this way. I know you probably do quite a few rescue missions. Can you talk to us about what these officers and volunteers went through in finding this little boy? Yeah, this operation, of course, was very intense. We do a lot of search and rescue operations throughout the year. Most of them are for adults. And for adults, we have a little bit higher expectation that they're going to be able to care for themselves. And that's something that we don't expect from a four-year-old child. So going into this, for all of the searchers, there's a higher level of stress. There's a higher level of exigency as everybody's moving forward and going out into the field. And all of the searchers, every person that was involved in this, just gave 100% of their absolute best to try to find Christian. Yeah, and of course, you know, I'm sure you go into every search with the same mission and finding the person, whether it's an adult or a kid, but hearing that this is a little four-year-old boy, how does that play into the process and all of this? It absolutely increases the stress, you know, because like I mentioned, we expect that an adult uh, would be able to maybe make some conscious decisions to help themselves, but we don't expect that out of a four-year-old. So going into this, we start off with a lot more searchers. We search all night long. We bring in extra resources earlier in this process. You know, during the search for a Christian, we brought in specialized aircraft. We searched overnight for him, you know, water specific search teams for surface searching on the water, dive teams to search below the surface, search dogs drones, um, everything that pretty much you can imagine as a resource we brought into this. And I know you weren't on this search team specifically, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong there, but have you been able to talk with any of the search and rescue members, the volunteers? Have they been able to share anything about, you know, how this little boy was doing when they saw him? Did he say anything? Um, I, he was nestled under a tree. Any details you can share with us? Yes, absolutely. He was nestled under a tree. You know, he had just kind of collapsed in his little nest there under the tree. Um, he was exhausted the night before. And that really is one of the things that helps us to locate him is, uh, you know, the fact that he did stop and he slept and he rested. Um, the searchers that were with him and located him, they all said that, uh, you know, he was doing very well. He was hungry, he was scared. And uh, we're fortunate though that he had the sense to also respond to our searchers that were calling after him because one thing that we know from small kids is that a lot of times when they're lost they're too scared they're scared of getting right. in trouble they're scared of the strangers and one thing that uh, christian did do to help himself is that he did respond when he heard his name being yelled and again search and rescue personnel are trained to know that a child is not necessarily going to do that because they might be too scared but he was not yeah, definitely makes it a little bit more complicated. But like you said, the the wherewithal for this four year old to somehow now obviously, you know, respond, like you said, but also to take care of himself uh, in this situation like this, a remarkable ending. Uh, Lieutenant Kathy Curtis, thank you for your work. Thank you to those search and rescue teams. Uh, grateful this little boy's back home with his mom and dad. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.